Uh, so update this is this caused me to look into something i have been criticizing for years well both of us yeah uh and this came up on some sort of subreddit i believe someone sent it to me it says most useless things of all time you got a coffee cup with a handle inside just yep. for all our listeners what is the second one there so, so it's a gate with no wall around it so you can just walk around it yeah. right and a watering can that waters itself right and then and is then that the macau that is hong the macau juhai hong kong bridge yeah and the reason it's useless is actually there was a huge campaign in 2018 mm -hmm. that even got big media outlets to promote this amazing bridge. And let yeah. me tell you why this bridge is so important. Because it's super long and super Super big. long. It's a big infrastructure project. And it was used as a way to show how forward thinking China mm -hmm. was. In fact, go ahead and play the video in the background. This is an example of what was going around on mass media in 2018. Okay. I just want to give you guys an update. Um, so back then in 2018, this was being promoted on, uh, South China Morning Post, which is not a, a mainland Chinese source. Yeah, but it is um, owned by... Yeah, yeah, of course. Mainland uh, China yeah. now. But, uh, you had, you know, big out, big out, let's think CNN type stuff. Yeah. But we're covering this big project and it was this big bridge and what it would do was it would go from mainland and circumvent, uh, having to wait through border lines. Yeah, uh, because you wouldn't have to go through Hong Kong and Macau, which are two uh, sovereign territories, separate territories yeah, yeah. from mainland China, from mainland China, yeah. which would previously take you about three hours to get between all three areas. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you'd have to go through three separate customs. Yes. There's a border with uh, uh, Hong Kong, which is previously British territory. Mm -hmm. There's a border with Macau that was previously Portuguese territory. Yeah. They now have their own legal system and stuff. So you still have to go through a border. You still have yeah. to have a passport. You still have to have permits, right? Yeah. So this would link all of those things and reduce the travel time to 30 minutes. This was very important for propagandists because what this was, yeah, you can put, the, put it there. Yeah was a way that China could say, uh, we put in hundreds of, it was like hundreds of billions of dollars or something, yep. hundreds of billions of dollars into this bridge project. And what it's going to do is link all these economies together to mm -hmm. where there is not these massive lines and truck customs, all this kind of stuff, because people can just rip through. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Two things happen. Okay. Number one, there's this weird interim period from when we left China in 2018, 2019. Um, to where we could still go back to Hong Kong, which yeah. we did, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't be arrested, even though we were wanted by mainland China, but we had to avoid this bridge. Yeah, people got arrested on the bridge because one of the like little islands that you pass over, that obviously the bridge has to pass over this island, that's Hong, I mean, mainland territory. So they stopped the bus there on that little island the and dissidents. they arrested the dissidents. And they arrested yeah. somebody who was wanted in mainland China. I remember right. that being in the news. So you can be on the yeah. bridge yeah. only in Hong Kong. So we were, we were basically dissidents in Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Fairly safe. Yeah. We would go look past the border in China and be like, remember that country? You know, that country that's after us? Yeah. But there was a weird period for a couple of years where before the whole national security law, we could actually get away with that. Yeah. Now that went away, but we definitely had to avoid this bridge because like you said. Yeah. But the most important thing about this bridge mm -hmm. is that it was poised to be this m amazing project and no one uses it. It was a massive waste of hundreds of billions of dollars. And I'll True. tell you why. There's a fantasy that it was going to reduce traffic and everyone in Macau was going to drive across. Everyone in Hong Kong was going to drive across. Everyone in mainland China was going to drive across it to go to these territories. Macau needs special license plates. Yes. It's a mainland plate mixed with a Macau yeah. plate, and you have to have it. It costs a lot of money. Huge right? amounts. Only very rich people have that. Hong Kong also needs Same. this plate. Yeah. It's a different plate. Yes. And China needs this these dual-purpose plates. You need that USZ. Yeah. yeah. For, for Macau. Yeah. Well, no, for in mainland for, China. For, yeah, for it mainland China. means it's China. a foreign car coming means, in. Yeah, it means you can go in it and out. It costs of hundreds of thousands of RMB. Yeah. Maybe even more now. Yeah, it would be more now to get that plate. And you need very special circumstances to be able to put that on your car. Yeah, so you see these cars, but it's probably like 1%. It's yeah. less than 1% no, of very, all cars in these very, territories. very, very, very small percentage of cars have these special license plates and permission to cross the border. So these would be the only cars that could use this hundreds of billions yeah. of dollar bridge. Yeah, and buses. S and buses, obviously. But that's nothing. Yeah. No, no one can use this. Sure. So when people, I, we had, I had reports from people that, were, that just saw the bridge. They said that there is no traffic on it. 
Yeah. There's literally no traffic. And number two, compounded by COVID restrictions because there's three different sure, restrictions. Sure, sure. And if you try, you can't go. No. If, you, if you go from mainland China into Hong Kong, you have to quarantine for, uh, I don't know what the period is right now, seven days or yeah. a, a number of days. Sure. And the same goes if you go into mainland China from Hong Kong or into Macau, you have to quarantine even longer. So there's no point. People yeah. can't use this. No, it's useless. Yeah. All Just right. wanted to give you guys an update. Okay, excellent. So that's uh, useless bridges, eh? Yeah. Mm, all right. Oh, <laughs>